Tulips or Billy here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use my After Effects intro template. First of all, you're going to open up your After Effects and then go File, Open Project, go to wherever you saved the file, which is probably in your Downloads folder, and then open whatever file is applicable to you. For example, CS6 here, you want that, that's the file you want to use to open if you have After Effects CS6. I'm not sure if this works for any version lower than CS6, but if you have After Effects CC, then you want to open this file. I have CC, so I'm going to open this file. I think I've got to change this back. I'm just going to keep changing that. And once you've done that, as you can see here is the intro, it works perfectly fine. So to change your text, you want to go to the text layer here, and then go to the text tool, and then just change your text to whatever you want, for example, name. So now you've changed that, it does animate in, instead of what it had there before, it animates in name. And another thing you'd want to change is the logo. To change your logo, you go down to, as you can see here, it says logo replace. So you want to go to the same file in your project, and then you want to right click, replace footage, file. And then you want to replace it with a logo. I advise this logo to be 500 by 500 pixels for it to work like properly, as that is the same size as what I originally used. It will work with bigger logos and even smaller logos, but I advise it to be the same size. So you want to import that and then it will just change the logo. And to change the background as well, you may want to change this so it matches your logo a little bit more or just to a nicer image that matches your channel or something. Uh, you go to replace here and then you go to replace up here in your project file. And you go to replace file, the same as what you did with your logo. And then find an image to replace it with. I don't actually have one to replace it with, but that's all you have to do, you just select an image. But for this file, you should try and find one that is 1920 by 1080 because then it will fit the screen correctly and you won't have to change any of the settings here yourself. You can find several images on uh, Google, Behance, DeviantArt, places like that. So I advise just doing that if you do want to change the background image. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this template and I hope this tutorial helps you use it. So thanks for watching. Bye.